Well, there is a new way to get around town in Deer Park. Beginning Monday, electric golf carts are legal on most streets in the city. KXLY4 Sally Showman spent the evening in Deer Park. She is live tonight in Liberty Lake, where golf carts are also legal on the road. Sally? Robin, Deer Park actually based their ordinance off of Liberty Lake's law that was passed about two years ago. Um, Deer Park decided to jump on the cart after an elderly man approached city council and asked for a cheaper way to get around town. Well, I thought, uh, why not a golf cart? Although Dwayne Golden retired in the middle of Deer Park, the streets outside his house might start looking like a country club soon enough. I got to thinking, well, why not let's make them legal? <laughs> it was Golden's idea. To me, it makes sense. Why not? To legalize the carts on all Deer Park streets except the main drags. Just to make short runs, uh, it'll save on gasoline. And uh, I'm in the donut hole now, so I need to save every place I can. The smaller, easier mode of transportation is perfect for Golden. I go down here one block to the VFW, three blocks to the uh, to the uh, cafes. Main benefit, I suppose, like I say, is for the senior citizens or some senior citizens that want to ride the golf carts instead of the little rascals around town. A little bigger, a little safer. Deer Park Mayor Robert Wisman signed the ordinance about a week ago. The law places some restrictions. Golf carts that you can rent at any normal country club still are not street legal. That's because they're not equipped with seat belts and lights. The driver must have a license and follow a speed limit of 25 miles an hour. Well, it's fast enough for me. I know. I'm, I'm in no hurry. I've <laughs> got plenty of time. A custom car is waiting in the garage. There it is. For his first outing. I just want to be able to get around on it. There are two streets in Deer Park that the golf carts cannot ride on, and those streets are Main Street and Crawford Avenue. As for if there'll be streets flooded with golf carts, a lot of people in town say probably not. I talked to someone at the golf course that says they only know of five people in town who have street-ready golf carts. Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.